Okay, well, my latest project is an outhouse. They're much more complicated than they seem, and they take a lot of wood. I will go through some of my design discoveries and things that I would recommend to you. Okay, so I have some scraps of this clear plastic. It's the same profile as tin siding, metal siding. Um, and I have some scraps left over. The way you mark this stuff is just by laying out one piece on top of another piece with a factory edge along there and make a mark. And that'll be a nice straight square mark. And right now I'm just using some scrap to make a pea shield. In order to cut it, I just use these scissors with long uh, blades on them. They're tin snips, really. Um, however, long blades. You can use scissors. Um, I just made mine with barn boards from a local mill. They're rough sawn and they're... Anyways, it was cheap and I had it available. Uh, on the door, I put the traditional moon cutout, but I put a couple of stars there as well. The star that's in the center is at the height so that if you're sitting on the throne, you can look out and see who's out there. The moon is at the right height to look out. Of course, your height would depend would uh, determine that uh, when you're standing. Also, uh, make sure that the door is braced very well. If you're using sheet product like plywood, that won't affect you. I used a PVC sewer pipe, just that white PVC, four inch, to do my vent. And so it's vented to the inside of the uh, lower container there. And that's where it comes out on the back. And I just turned it down under the eaves. I wasn't thinking I should have turned that so that it was parallel to their like uh, 90 degrees to the eaves or parallel to the wall of the building. That way it would have been tucked in under the eave nicely. And I'll put screens on the ends on both the this end here and on the end underneath to try and prevent animals and bugs from getting in there and making nests. Now I did use barn boards for the entire thing, uh, roughs on local wood. Since I didn't have a sheet product like plywood, I put an X brace on the back so it's not visible from inside and yet it provides some racking stability or bracing. I didn't do it on the sides and you can't do it on the front either. The front is mostly door and so that's a weak point. I just happen to have lots of this uh, high tensile galvanized strapping so I use it for bracing on everything. And those are the bug screens to they're just zip tied around the ends of the on both ends of the both ends of the vent pipe. Ordinary screening from a you know screen door. And this is the P shield. It's on the front. It's just that uh, uh, plastic, like metal siding, except it's plastic. And I put one on the back just because well I have extra material. And if anything splatters or gets on the back, uh, it would tend to rot out the wood and so maybe this will preserve it for a little while. And they just hang down a little tiny bit so that uh, they're beyond the edge of the wood. Uh, one of the design considerations, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, this front edge here is sloped and it's sloped in this way and the reason why is so that when you're standing there your feet have a place to be or you stand a little closer to it and also when you're sitting it's uh, so that your feet have a place to be. So it's tilted in a little bit or I suppose tilted out towards the top. Since I'm here you can't probably see this very well. I put, that's one by material down there, but that's a 2 by 10 or 2 by 12 right there. One of the problems uh, with an outhouse that I found was that the front is almost totally door and so having some sort of lateral stability is important. Uh, so those things are not only shelves, they're braces as well. And I've got three on each side, and that'll give me some uh, stability in the corners. That's the door from the inside. And there are three shelves on each inside front corner. The dimensions of this are 42 inches inside, so 42 inches wide, and 50 inches from front to back inside and that's inside the framing that's the floor space which seems to be perfect for dimensions 
course, height would depend on how tall you are. Personally, I've made it six feet on the back and seven feet on the front. Well, it's done. It's got clear plastic, profile of tin, but clear plastic on the roof, and it's painted white inside. I'll take you inside and show you. So that's from the outside looking in. Clear roof, painted white inside so that, uh, you know, you have some light inside. Two inch styrofoam on the seats, and that's because I live in a cold climate in Canada. What else can I tell you? It's sitting on gravel, like the, gra the soil here is like a gravel pit. Extremely rapid drainage, which is a good thing. You have to be above the uh, local water table, which it is. You have to be more than 100 feet away from water, which it is. You have to be more than 50 feet away from a well, uh, and it is, and yeah. Well, there's all kinds of regulations associated with, with outhouses. In addition, after every, you know, solid waste, you should put a scoop of, uh, like, maybe 250 milliliters of either lime or ashes, wood ashes. Now, I have a lot of wood ashes here because I have a wood stove, uh, so I'll try that. All right, bye for now.